What's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe from the Fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. Hey, I told y'all this one's gonna be a little different sitting in a one of the hotel room, you know what I mean, for, for my daughter or whatnot. Uh, out here in Spain, but you know, we're gonna get this Ravens thing done. Uh, Ravens versus Jaguars game status. I uh, wasn't able to do the injury report. Uh, traveling, it was a long, long flight. Uh, but here we go. The game stat is right into it, okay? The Jacksonville Jaguars had something that I really haven't seen before into week 12 of the season. They have no one on the injury report. They don't have a single person to report on their injury report at all. Uh, I can't say I've ever seen that before. Um, so the Ravens are going to get a fully healthy Jaguars team in terms of the guys that's on the roster. Now, obviously, they got guys on IR or whatever, but in terms of who's on the roster, everybody's healthy. You know, I, I've never really seen that before, but... That's what's happening with the Jaguars right now, okay? Uh, unfortunately, the Ravens don't have that same kind of uh, luxury, okay? Ronnie Stanley is out. Uh, John Harbaugh said that, you know, he doesn't think he's going to make this game, so that is what it is with him. Now, they got a lot of guys that are questionable. So you got Gus Edwards. Uh, John Harbaugh has said he's hopeful that Gus Edwards plays. And Gus actually was a full participant the last two days. So we're talking about Thursday and Friday. So I think Gus Edwards is going to give it a go versus Jacksonville for sure. Uh, Demarcus Robinson... He's questionable, but he was a full participant today in practice, so that's looking good for him to play. Uh, Kyle Hamilton uh, is a guy who's also questionable. He did not practice at all this week, so I don't know if we'll see Kyle Hamilton really. And if we do see him, it's probably going to be in a limited role. So I will call him a game-time decision right now as, as we're heading into it, okay? Uh, Jalen Armour Davis, uh, we'll see what happens with him, but he's, he's questionable. Um, he actually might be out, actually. So hold on, I might, I'm, he actually might be. I'll, I'll check that later. Uh, Devin Duvernay, he popped up on the injury report this on today with the hamstring injury, limited in practice. That's big news. Um, now I don't know how that's going to affect him as far as Ravens keeping him out, but that's that's huge news. Devin Duvernay, it's a possibility that he can't go. Uh, that's that's really big news. Okay, um, obviously big news is obviously Ronnie Stanley can't go. So Devin Duvernay on top of that, that's two key weapons out for the Ravens. Okay, um. And Isaiah Likely. Isaiah Likely also popped up on the injury report today. It's limited with the ankle injury. Um, so now at the third guy, right? Ronnie Stanley, big time left tackle, playing like one of the best left tackles in the NFL. Um, Devin Duvernay, even though he's not getting a look, so touches he should always get, that's still going to be a miss if he can't play. And Isaiah Likely, even though his snap percentage went down uh, when, when Mark Andrews coming back, he's obviously still a guy that the Ravens fans want to see like myself. And that the coaching staff probably wants to have out there. So if he's not out there, that's also a huge miss. So hopefully that can get that corrected and he'll play. Uh, but, you know, it's up in the air. I mean, he popped up on the injury report today as limited. So something could have happened in practice. Something could be bothering him. Don't know. All right. Um, now, guys with no injury designation playing. Marcus Peters, he's been resting. Nothing unusual there. Jason Pierre-Paul, he's been resting. Nothing unusual there. Kevin Zeitler popped up on the injury report on Wednesday with an illness. But these last two days, he's been full, so he's good. But the big news, Lamar Jackson. He's out there. He's going to play. Uh, he said a hip injury is something different than what he was on, there, on the injury report uh, before. But he said he's fine. There's, there's no issue for him right now as far as uh, pain or anything like that. So he's going to roll. Uh, he was full participant these last two days. And that's pretty much it, right? So the Ravens are uh, semi-banged up going into this game with the Jaguars. The Jaguars team that is, like I said, I, I have never seen an injury report where a team has nobody to report, nobody to list. Uh, especially when we're in week 12 of the NFL season. So the Jaguars have a, an advantage in the injury department. You know, there's no other way to say it. But the guys, Ravens should get a couple of these guys back. Like Demarcus Robinson should play. Gus Edwards should play. Um... And, yeah, so we'll see on DuVernay and Isaiah Likely. We'll see on those two guys. But, you know, Ravens could be out with, could be out of some key weapons, but at least they'll have two major guys back. Gus Edwards is going to help out this running game tremendously. And Demarcus Robinson, hopefully he can uh, extend on that 128-yard game he had last week, right? Um, now, one more thing I did want to mention is that I saw that, you know, Odell has his top teams that he wants to be on or whatever, and that he's still in – and the Ravens were in the still in discussion category of that. Um as Ravens fans, I wouldn't put too much stock into it, all right? Just because he's talking to the Ravens, it could just be high by conversations. Yeah, keep us in the loop, all right? Um, with this kind of offense, I'm not saying that Odell won't come here because it is Lamar Jackson here, and that's obviously uh, tempting for any receiver, right? 
But um, gotta be honest, we gotta be honest about the style of play. You know, a guy like Odell, obviously he wants to win, but he also wants to be effective and get his numbers as well. So I'm not gonna say any kind of selfish or nothing like that. He's a, he's a good team player, but I can't see himself being a free agent and coming into the situation, right? Uh, so I think the Cowboys, uh, the Bills are still teams that have a better shot. Uh, even the Giants, maybe, you know, if he feels like that. But I would probably say the Cowboys, honestly, um, have the best shot of getting Odell Beckham, right? Um, so that's the Ravens the Jaguars injury report. Like I said, the Jaguars are 100% healthy. As healthy as you can be going into the season. I mean, going into this week of the season. And the Ravens, um, the injury report is, is long. Uh, but key guys are playing. Lamar Jackson, Marcus Peters, J.C. Pierre-Paul, Kevin Zeitler. All right, Gus Edwards should be back. And um, the Marcus Robinson should be playing. So, it's good news. Uh, and I think the Ravens are still favorites, man. I think the Ravens are still the, the team to beat in this game. And that's that. So, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited for it, man. Give me your thoughts and comments about this game. And uh, I probably will do a game preview. I'm not going to show up. I'm going to have my guys with me or not. We'll, we'll see what happens like that. Obviously, the time zone. I'm like six hours ahead, so it's like it's like 9:30 right now, 9:30 p.m. right now. So, uh, but yeah, I'm getting this video out to y'all, man. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed day, and um, you know, I can't wait to watch Ravens play on Sunday. It's your boy Gary with the Fan TV. I'm out.